all right everyone welcome to this minecraft tutorial video here on the channel and within this video i'm going to be showing you something pretty awesome i think as you can see we have a bunch of command blocks here and i'm going to be showing you something pretty cool you can do with commands so i think some of you will not be aware that you can actually do this particularly new and returning players to the game but with these pressure plates here, if I move from pressure plate to pressure plate, you will see that I can set player armor using commands. And that is going to be the point of this particular tutorial here. So we have gold armor and then neverite armor. And then if I go all the way back, we get gold again. And then this set of command blocks actually removes the armor completely from the armor slots. So that is what I'm gonna be showing you. And of course, if we go to the Neverite armor again, you will see that if we go into our inventory, all of the items are set inside of the armor slots here. So I'm in Minecraft 1.21.4 and I'm on the Java edition. This is only available for Java edition, unfortunately, but we are using an item replace entity command to get this to work. So. We are specifying an entity in the game, which happens to be us as the player. We are then specifying each armor slot, and that is why four command blocks are needed in this particular case. You do not need to use command blocks for this. You can just type the command into the console and run it if you want. But if you want to run it in a series, obviously you use command blocks like I've just done here. But... Uh, after specifying the armor slot we want to do, all we need to do is specify the item ID we want to give for the armor we want to set. Now, before I show you the commands here, I'm going to show you how to find out the Minecraft item IDs you need for these commands. Make sure that you use the F3 and H key on your keyboard and make sure that advanced tooltips are shown. Now, if you go to the armor section here, if you hover over different armor in here, you will see that in gray in the tooltip, it'll give you the item ID. So we have Minecraft Curlon Chainmail chest plate for an example here, but that is how you find out what item ID you need. So of course, with these commands, not all of the armor pieces need to be the same. You can set any item ID for any slot you want to do. And essentially, this command line here, which is removing the armor, all we're really doing is setting the slots to an air block. So we're using Minecraft ID, Minecraft colon air. So make sure that you do that if you want to remove anything from the slot or anything like that. Just use Minecraft colon air and it will remove the item. So without further ado, I'm going to show you these commands in more detail. All right, everyone, we're now inside the text editor right here and I can show these commands now. And these commands will be in the description of the video so you can check them out for yourself, copy and paste and all that cool stuff. But as you can see, we're using an item replace entity command, okay? And we are then specifying at P as the nearest player in this particular case with the command I'm using. You can obviously use lots of different things with this. And then for each of these commands, we specify a slot. So we're doing armor.head, and then we've got chest, legs, and feet. So those are what you need for each of the slots. And then we use with and then a Minecraft item ID. So we have Neverite helmet, chest plate, leggings, and boots. And that is literally it. It is as simple as it gets. And it's a lot, lot easier. And I'd imagine that this is very useful for creative projects and stuff like that, even puzzle maps, maybe. And you can just do this sort of thing and just set the armor of the player or even remove the armor in some certain cases as well. So it's very flexible and you can do a lot with this. And um, I guess hopefully this helps you out with anything you want to do. All right, everyone, thank you for watching this tutorial video here. This is obviously a lot more effective than just shoving an item into a player's inventory. You can actually set it and it's a lot more slick, I think, if you use these kinds of commands in Minecraft. But if you did enjoy this video and you learned something new, make sure to like, share and subscribe. It would be very much appreciated. And make sure you hit the bell so you're notified of new videos here on the channel. Be sure to check out my socials on screen or in the description. And if there's any other tutorials you want me to do, let me know in the comments down below and I may do it for a future video. 
But yeah, guys, see you in the next video, everyone. Stay happy and healthy as always, and see you next time.